Alright guys, this is um, um, a message from Principle, chapter 2. Damien hurried up the stairs. He couldn't wait to see Miss Jules, his favorite teacher in the whole world. But the 13th floor was a lot higher up than he remembered, even if there was no 19th. By the time he got up there, his legs hurt, his side ached, and he had a blister on the back of his ankle where it rubbed against his sneaker. He stumbled into the room and collapsed on the floor. Hi, Miss Jules, he gasped. He gasped. Hi, Damien. Welcome back, said Miss Jules. Damien looked up at her. Something seemed different about her, but she wasn't sure what it was. Oh, Damien, would you do me a favor? She asked. Sure, said Damien. I left my pencil in the office, said Miss Jules. Would you mind going down and getting it for me? No problem, said Damien. It's yellow, said Miss Jules. It has a point at one end and a red eraser at the other. Damien got to his feet and headed down the stairs. One by one, the other children staggered into the classroom, huffing and puffing. They were all out of shape. Still, they were very excited to be back in Miss Jules' class. Shouts of joy could be heard from every corner of the room. Miss Jules held up two fingers. All the children became quiet. Joy stopped shouting. Miss Jules told the children to sit at their old desks. So did any. So did anyone learn anything at your other schools? She asked. Mac raised his hand. Ooh, ooh, he grunted. Um, yes, Mac, said Miss Jules. Civilization, declared Mac. What about civilization, asked Miss Jules. We learned it, said Mac. That's very impressive, said Miss Jules. Would you like to tell the class something about civilization? Mac thought a moment. I don't remember, he said, but I know we learned it. That's good, Mac, said Miss Jules. Anyone else learn anything? Rondi raised her hand. Expiration. Excuse me. Evaporation, she said. Good, said Miss Jules. What is evaporation? I don't know, said Rondi. Dana raised her hand. I learned about exaggeration, she said. It was all my teacher ever talked about. We had like 10,000 tests on it, and the teacher would kill you if you didn't spell it right. Uh, that's very good, Dana, said Miss Jules. You learned your lesson well. Did I did? Asked Dana. Miss Jules shrugged. Well, I guess we'll just continue where we left off. Just then, Mr. Kidswater's voice came over the PA system. Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Kidswater was the principal. He paused a moment because he thought every kid in school was saying good morning, Mr. Kidswater. Back to him. Nobody said it. Sherry buried her head in her huge coat, closed her eyes, and went to sleep. Welcome back to Wayside School, said Mr. Kidswater. I know I'm sure glad to be back. It was wonderful to see all your bright and chipper faces this morning. I missed every single one of you. And welcome back to Miss Mush too. Today's lunch menu will be baked liver and purple sauce. Uh, Miss Mush actually cooked this before the school was closed, but she assures me it is still as tasty as ever. I'm sure it is, said Myron, a safety reminder. Now it has been a while since you I had to rush up and down the stairs, and I want to make sure there are no accidents. So remember this simple rule. When you go up the stairs, stay to your right. When you go down the stairs, stay to your left. That way there should be no problems. Okay, let's all have a good day. And remember, I'm your friend, and you're my friends. And if you ever need a friend, you can always come to me. Isn't that nice, said Miss Jules. What a bunch of baloney. There I was lying on a beach in Jamaica when suddenly I get a fax that the dumb school is back open. Well, those kids better not bother me. My friends? That's a joke. Like, I would really want to be friends with those little snot nose. What? Don't tell me to shut up. You shut up. What's, what's on? You mean they're hearing what I'm saying right this very second? Well, how do you turn it off? What button? I don't see a red button. There is no red button. Oh, here it is. Off at that point, like we're trying hard with the mysterious.